the calls began to come into our department at 2.54 p.m. That was the time that we received the initial 911 call. At 2.56, let me, at 2.54, simultaneously while those calls were coming in, that's when our first officers were dispatched. They were being dispatched simultaneously while the 911 calls were coming into our radio room. At 2.56, two minutes later, our first officers began to arrive on scene. And at 2.58, we had the suspect in custody. So within four minutes from start to finish, we had the shooter of this incident in our custody. Uh, and we began to, at that point, address the needs of the scene uh, there at the Kroger store at 9080 Taylorsville Road. Also, while that was going on, we began to conduct a rapid uh, evaluation and search of a nearly 116,000 square foot building for any potential victims that had yet to be identified, as well as witnesses and, and uh, people that were in hiding uh, that may have not been located or found a protective place to seek shelter at that point. Investigators continued to evaluate and examine all evidence that was collected and identified at the scene. We have just as of a few hours ago determined and, and uh, established some of the suspects movements and actions just prior to the shooting. The, we received a tip that the suspect was seen outside of a local church where uh, he appeared to on video have been attempting to gain access into the church. Uh, their video surveillance system caught that. Um, he was unsuccessful in gaining access to the church.